Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to PSM Profiles. Here I am, doing this again. Woo, yay. I'm just going to quickly go over every platinum I've got and tell you basically how hard they are and sort of what you need to do for them just if you want to get an easy platinum really because basically all of these are relatively easy because it's my lazy ass doing them. Firstly, Rocket League. Platinum trophy named Virtuoso. Basically all you've got to do is play the game for a long time. Unlock a couple of cars and you'll probably get most of the trophies without even noticing and you'll only need a couple to actually get the platinum that you want to go out of your way for. The 100% is a bit more of a pain up the ass um, than the actual platinum is because there's a shit ton of DLC but fuck it, just leave it at the platinum, leave it at, what is it, 67%? Right. Next up, Watch Dogs 2, a trophy called Graduation Day, I believe is what it's called. Basically, 100% of the game. Basically, take a picture of someone vomiting is one that I can distinctly remember from it. Relatively easy, 100% of the game. It's a bit cringy at some points. The story, that is. Bit stupid at some points as well. But overall, a decently fun game. Uh, so yeah, there's that one. Next up, there is Be Greater for Spider-Man PS4. Um, so the other two were quite a while ago, but this one is one of the latest ones. This game, very fun, again, 100% the game and a couple of miscellaneous things. Reli basically, fucking easy as shit, right, is what I'm telling you. Only hard thing, possibly, is unlocking all the suit and unlocking all of the, I don't know, items. I'm just going to call them items. That's not what they're called, but items. You have to complete these challenges to unlock these tokens, and you spend the tokens on the items and also the suits. So if you don't think you'll be able to do good enough in the actual challenges to get enough tokens to do both just save do one reload and do the other still easy as shit next up detroit become human which is this is detroit master here this one i wouldn't say that because i'm pretty shit at the game if i'm honest but basically 100 percent here again get a load of endings get the go through the story where connor dies at every single possible opportunity get hank to kill connor find every single magazine which is the biggest pain in the ass since anything because Certain choices that you make change magazines in chapters that happen like three chapters later. So you've got to make the choice and you've got to play a chapter, play a chapter, play another chapter. And then finally you'll get to the chapter where the magazine is, pick up the magazine and boom, there you go. Easy peasy, except it takes a long time. Relatively easy, takes a while. Life is Strange, what if is the Platinum Trophy's name? Easy, probably the easiest one on here, I don't know. It's a, it's a mix up between this one and another one that I'll say later. Um, Life is Strange, basically follow a guide, take all of the pictures, take all of the optional pictures, you'll get a trophy, you'll get a trophy for finishing the chapters, there's five, you'll get a trophy for every single picture you take, which would be 50, and then you'll get the platinum when you finish the game, if you do it all in one. Next up, Days Gone, One Percenter is what this one's called. Very fun game, very long game however, so you are going to be there for a while just doing the story, and you are going to be there for a while again just getting, just sort of going around and doing stuff, 100%ing. You don't have to find every collectible. I think you've got to find three quarters of them all. You've got to get, like, the most trust with three different camps, which is definitely the one that takes the longest. And there is also one that's that, like, doesn't unlock sometimes, but it's not missable. You just have to keep doing the thing that you need to do for it, and then eventually it will unlock when you do it the right way. So that's a bit of a pain. But, again, relatively easy. I haven't been doing these out of 10, I've just been saying relatively easy, basically, for all of them. But it does take a while. Probably the longest to do out of these ones that we've gone through so far. Next up is a Symphony of Horror Trophies, I believe this one is called. Yes, it is. For Until Dawn, which is a choice-based sort of story, story-based choice game. That's definitely not what the phrase thing is, but close enough. Um... Easy, basically, get every ending, have the ending where all the girls survive, all the men survive, have the ending where everyone survives, have the ending where everyone dies, have certain characters die in certain ways, um, and find all the collectibles. Again, you'll need a guide for that one, but there is a couple of good ones up on YouTube, commentary and no commentary, um, if either of those are your thing. So yeah, relatively easy. We'll need a minimum of two playthroughs. One playthrough to make sure everyone's alive. Um, and one playthrough to make sure everyone's dead. And there's one choice that you need to do. You need to replay a chapter to do one choice. Because it'll, it'll mean that either one character will survive or one character will die. So you'll need to reload a chapter. But again, 
Very easy one. Follow a guide, you'll get it done. Next one is a Valedictorian, where on the PS4 it's actually called the Canis Canem Edit, Latin for Dog Eat Dog, I believe. Bully, the by far better name for it. Fantastic game, very quite grindy trophies. Again, easy, but they will take a while. There is kicking a football 100 times, kissing 25 girls, picking 25 flowers. One of those might be 50, actually, thinking about it. But then the most grindy one and the one that you will find the biggest pain... In, actually, no, there's four. There's four big grinds. There's um, go for, I think it's 10 kilometers on your skateboard, 50 on your, f like, just running, and 100 on your bike is what I believe it is. So they're pretty grindy. There's also 200 wheelies on the bike, which is easy, but will take a while. And then the hardest one is amassing, I think it's 167,000, I believe, trouble points. Now, trouble points are something you earn when you, get, when you do something that you'll be in trouble for. So, basically, attacking people. You want to go and attack people and just grind that out and you'll get the trophy. Not too bad. That's probably the longest one. Uh, is it the longest one on the whole list? I, I think it is. That's the longest one on the whole list I'll go for. Well, still, again, easy. Next one is all the ways out for, obviously, a way out. Well, not obviously, to be fair. A way out is a multiplayer game that you can play by yourself with two controllers. It does make it a bit difficult to do with two controllers, controlling two different characters at the same time. But it's easy. I think there's only 20 trophies. You can miss every single trophy um, if you just play through and don't do the requirements. But if you look at a guide once, you'll probably be able to remember where the trophies are when you actually play it for yourself. And yeah, really easy. That's the one that I was contemplating whether it was easier than Life is Strange. And I'd say it probably honestly is, just because there's less things to do. And the game takes a lot less time. Next up, the tenth one on the list is just the word Platinum. Is the name of it, lovely, for the game Man Eater. Man Eater is a game where you're a shark and you go and eat some people. Uh, trophies consist of, what do they consist of? 100% in the game, basically, completing the story and finding everything. Relatively easy. There's a couple of trophies that might take you a while, like getting to level 10 of the fret rate. Is it the fret rating? Something like that. That'll take you a while. But you'll get there. And you'll get the platinum done. And it's relatively easy. And most of the things that you need to find show up on the map, so they're quite easy to find. Next up, number 11. South Park, the Stick of Truth Platinum Trophy. Really? You had to put all the trademarks in, in the platinum thing? If you say so, South Park. Now, South Park, the Stick of Truth. This platinum trophy is an absolute pain in the ass, because if you miss one thing, you've got to play through the whole goddamn game again. You've got to find all the friends. You've got to find all of the weapons and armor. You've got to find all of the chimp Pokemon. So, don't be an idiot like me and miss one of the friends because that means you'll have to do all the chimp Pokemon again because when you find all of them, you get a friend request. So, yeah, miss a chimp Pokemon, do the whole game again. Miss a friend, whole game again. Miss a, a weapon, do the whole goddamn game again, bro. There's a load of trophies for farting on certain things. Because it's South Park, farting on a cat uh, 25 times, farting on all of your buddies in the game, farting on... Vying on basically fucking everything, right? Um, there's a couple of story trophies. There's that infamous trophy where you sit and watch your in-game parents fuck, basically for. I think it's a that's a long minute, isn't it? That's a fat. That's a long minute to wait. But you get there, you get the trophy. You look like a pervert on your trophy list, but you don't care because you've got the platinum. This one's probably the biggest pain in the ass so far on the trophy list, but still relatively easy if you follow a guide. Um, yeah, basically, it's and it's fun as well, it's South Park, so it's, a, it's, it's fun, isn't it? Next one, boom, South Park the Fractured Butthole with the trophy name more powerful than you think, so a bit better than the South Park trophy, Stick of Truth trophy name. This one, much, much easier, except for one trophy. I think nothing's missable, you just gotta go find all the stuff, use a guide, easy, and then you got to play through the game, play through it all, just do everything, basically. Do absolutely everything. Get all the loot at that soda sopa homeless camp place. Do everything. And then the final trophy you want to have is the token experience. If you're going to do this in two playthroughs, you could obviously do this in one playthrough. Um, if you didn't already start with different settings. But basically what you've got to do is you've got to have a black character and you have to play through the entire game on mastermind difficulty which was at the time the hardest difficulty but now the hardest is diabolic you want to do it on mastermind because if you finish it on diabolic you don't get the trophy it is a bit of a pain in the ass a couple of the fights take quite a while to 
work out, but you will get there. It's not too hard. It's probably harder, per se, than the Stick of Truth, but it, you'll, it's still relatively easy to do. Next up, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. That is a fucking long title. With the trophy name Neptune Spatula. You want to basically 100% the game. Finish everything. That's all this one is. Um, there is a couple of glitches, but all the glitches that you think is actually a glitch just turns out that you've missed something. Um, because that's the kind of game this is. You can miss something and not even really realise that you've missed it, which is sort of the beauty of it, sort of the bastard. Which is what happened to me. I missed the spatula and thought it glitched. So that's why I actually got it after the South Park, the second South Park. It was this, this one should be in between the two South Parks, but it isn't. Next, Ultimate Sim Guru for The Sims 4. Um, it's hard if you do it a certain way. It's only hard if you... There is this guy. There is this guy called Bushido Cypher, I believe. I think I butchered that, but it's basically that, who has a 40-minute long video teaching you exactly how to get this trophy in about two hours, whereas if you don't use his guide, it'll take about 500 hours to do this. And I'm not fucking kidding, me, kidding you, bro. You've got to survive with the same household, with the same generation, like family name for 26 generations, which is ridiculous amount of times. But luckily, there is a gallery where there are some wonderful people who have, who have done it so that that it's like just before the trophy they've saved it they've put it on the library for you to download and get the trophy so if you do it that way it's easy it will take about two hours to do absolute piece of cake cakewalk bloody wonderful but if you don't do it like that then you're going to want to kill yourself by the time you do it but sure your pride will be there or something i guess i don't know and now finally we go to uncharted drake's fortune this is the hardest one on the list if you do the Sims 4 one easier. Uh, again, this one's just called Platinum, which is very fun, but fair enough. It's a game that came out in 2007, so I can't really... Can't really knock it that much. Um, relatively easy. Follow a guide. I would say go through it the first time on easy. Follow a guide to get all of the treasures, all 61 of them. One of them being the Strange Relic, for which you will get a trophy. You want to finish that, finish the game out, get the trophy for beating it on easy... Then go into chapter select, grind out some of the combat trophies, which can mostly be done by just killing one person and restarting the encounter and killing them over and over again until you get enough to do the trophy. Um, and then you want to do, you want to have everything done, same as the South Park one, have only one trophy left, or if you went through on easy, have the difficulty trophies left, so that all you have to worry about when you play through on crushing is surviving. Because crushing is a bit of a pain in the ass. Crushing is very hard. There is some tips out there on YouTube to help you with how to do crushing, but it is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, there's certain chapters. Chapter 19 is a bit of a pain up the ass. The infamous blue room in uh, chapter 5 is a massive dick. Um, I think it's chapter 13 or something where there's another really hard section. But overall, you'll be able to do it. You'll get through the game and you'll be relatively happy with the fact that you just beat a very hard difficulty. And then remember that there's an even harder difficulty, but you don't need to do that for the platinum. Thank God. Right, there you go. There's all 15 of my platinums and how easy they are um, ranked. Now, the next one I'm going for, I might as well just tell you the... 16th one I'm trying to do right now is actually Ghost of Tsushima. Finally, also, we're off uh, unlucky level 13. I'm trying to get Ghost of Tsushima. It's going to take a while. I've not even finished the story yet, and I need to finish... Basically, that game is 100% in it, so it's easy. It'll just take a shit ton of time. But, yeah, basically, that's it. See you later. Um, see you later, alligator. Here's a mask. Bye.